Adjusting the camera. Okay, we've got one viewer. That's great. I'd like the stream started a little late. I know. That's all oh, well. Oh god, don't. Okay. I'm just gonna try and adjust camera as I wait for more people to join. Oh boy. This is... How did I do this last time? Yo. Yo, useful engine 11. Okay. I need to redo this. I'm gonna move the other table to a slightly better position. Not sure if this is a better position, but it's certainly a position. Ow! Ow! My fucking leg! God! Pog! Pog indeed, Train Free Productions. Oh lordy. Oh lordy. Don't want these to fall. There's not a lot of room in here, I hope you understand. Alright, I'm just gonna bring this closer to me now. Hopefully everything still looks good, or adequate. You know what time it is, it's Pogger's time. Yeah, sure. Okay. Hopefully that's good enough. So, uh, welcome to the start of another stream. I just realized you... God damn it. I can never do this one. Move that. No, no. That's not what people want. Okay. That should be good enough, I hope. Should also quickly put something on Twitter to let people know the stream's happening now. So, maybe I'll just... No, I don't want him up in your face like that. Where do I put him that's a lot more subtle? I don't want to put him on the table here, because I'm using it. And if I move the camera that way, then you can't see the custom table. There is just no winning in this situation. This is a lose-lose either way. I would rather... Um... Got... Oh, five viewers. Great. Bear with me, people. Oh, we lost a viewer. That kind of sucks. We lost another viewer. That also sucks. I probably should have tweeted about this before making the stream public. Uh... Right. Oh, no. Says Train Freak Productions. Oh no, indeed. Right. People are dropping like flies. Okay. Oh, we got another viewer back. That's good. Hello, Ollie. Hello, the Seaside Railroad Chronicles. Nice to have you. Well, flies are easy to kill. Uh, I beg to differ. Ah. Shit. Watching from the Netherlands, says Lawrence Hooglander. Well... 
That's cool. Hope you're enjoying and hope. Uh. Shit. I wasn't really prepared for this, you can tell. Troublesome train, make Tim the truck. I don't know who that is. So, so I'm not taking requests for customs. I'm, if I do, I'm going to be working on customs that I want to do, like what I've got set out here and some other stuff that's off camera. Oh, seven viewers, okay. Lucky number is seven. Just gonna post a tweet about this, and so much for the lucky number. We're back to six viewers. Oh, back to the lucky number. Seven viewers again. Yay! All right. Oh, eight viewers. Seven viewers. Five viewers. Oh, no. What does a guy have to do to get more views on his stream? Hey, look, it's Greg. This, this should get the people riled up. Look, it's Greg, guys. I brought Greg back just for the stream. Okay, that didn't work. The viewer count changes in other stories. Yeah, that happens. I posted a link on Twitter, so hopefully more people should be joining soon. OMG, Greg. Yep. Alright. Well, I guess... Uh, oh god, you pulled out the big guns. Yeah. I'm ready. What the f what am I doing? All right. So I guess I might as well get started because I don't know. Views maybe I'll be lucky to keep five viewers throughout the whole stream and then but anyway, this is the next custom I'm working on. It is a custom Black James, based off the Adventure Begins. Which, and the only reason I'm making it is because I don't see myself getting the official model. Because it is rare, and people on eBay are greedy. So, I'm just making the custom. Looks nice, thank you. So far, all I've done is the lining on one side, which still needs some touch-ups. There's a bit of a mess up on the cab, and I still need to add the red around the number five. And the other side is pretty much blank, save for the boiler. If people see this in their subscriptions, I'll see a thumbnail of you holding Greg. I don't think so, because I think I already set the thumbnail to be a bunch of customs. Maybe the thumbnail should have been me holding Greg. Originally, I was thinking of just making the thumbnail my Greg next to, uh, next to one of my dogs, the ultimate clickbait. But, uh, I didn't. Oh, wow, that's smooth. OMG looks great. Thanks. Alright, so... I don't have as many customs this time. Because hoping to keep the stream a bit shorter. But what I'm going to try and do is alternate between working on Black James and also showing off some more of my customs. This time, kind of with a theme, we've got a bunch of narrow gauge engines. So it's like Scarlowy Railway, Mid Sodor, Arlesdale, and stuff. Which should be fun. People like little trains. And. I guess not many people like Little Trains because we just lost another viewer. Oh well. Sorry. 
No, I'm just sitting over my Hornby Thomas Stepney I had for 50, 50 pounds. Lucky. That's less than how much he costed in stores for me. But, uh... As we wait for things to progress, I guess I will continue to work on James. And we gotta do lining. Lining is a lot of fun. Hope you're all ready to watch me panic. Right. Maybe they just prefer top trains, god damn it. Okay. Get the tender out of the way first. Narrow gauge pog. Yep. Right. I gotta be quiet for this. Alright, there we go. First line complete, end of the stream. Alright. Alright, there were no new comments during that. Oh well. Uh, making sure I've just got it even, both ends. After I'm done with this, I'll pull out one of the narrow gauge engines and we can do a little show off custom thing. Yeah, the different stuff. Cause uh, I can't really talk while while doing the lining and stuff. Cause I gotta focus. I'm not good at focusing while talking. But uh, whoops! Too much paint on the brush. Oh, damn, one viewer. Oh, shit. I guess I'm not as exciting as I thought. Alright, and we're back to three. Okay, that's good. The whole point of this was that I was going to work on the custom while I wait for more people to join, but it looks like that's had the opposite effect. Oh, dear. And, um... I've already started, so I might as well finish. Yep. No new comments. I don't know. Uh, no. Back up to four. Up. Oh. Nope, we've got five viewers now. All right. Hey, five. Never mind. <laughs> right. Pogger. Yes, indeed. What I'm learning here is that maybe... I should do streams in the future with other people when I want to do customs because not much really happens. You're just kind of watching me stare at a little toy for like a few seconds. Right, the comments. I am that person from the Netherlands. Yeah, I remember you. Come on, people. Get them up to 10. <laughs> yeah. The views got up really high in the last stream, and I don't know how, but that was great. Right. Five viewers. 
What I'm learning here is that people really don't like watching you paint toy trains. Noted. Oh boy. Let me retweet the link. Oh, six. Right. Shit. I just messed it up. Probably can't see on camera, there's a little, like, I don't know what to describe, like a little area I messed up. Well, I, I can cover it up with black paint, so it's nothing too big, thankfully. Yeah, I really don't like doing lining. Oh wow, screwed up. It got so much worse. Wonderful. I have this like problem. It's like a curse basically, where like I can do lining really well the first time, like on one side of an engine, but then for my second attempt, it's just way worse. And like, kinda sucks. Alright, alright, nearly done, nearly done. Then we can look at customs. Alright, that came out adequate, I think. So I'll just let that sit for a while. And then I guess we'll take a look at the customs that I actually finished. Okay, what more people might be interested in. Alright. Hello, I have been born. Good for you, Mr. Great Western. I'm really proud. But, um... Start off small and simple. I like it. Thank you, Seaside Railroad Chronicles. Right. This was a custom I made a few years ago. This is a mini Scar Lowy that I painted yellow to represent Proteus. Really simple, really. So that's why I'm just getting it out of the way, didn't mean to drop it there. The lamp is literally blue tack, or white tack. Yeah. What more is there to say? It's a mini Proteus. But, um... Ooh! Uh, I want to donate, but my parents won't let me. You know, it's fine. You don't have to donate to me. Come. Epic. Thank you. Alright, and um, next up, the second... Yeah, oh look, Fred. This is the second and last Scar Lowy custom I'm going to be showing off. I have a bunch of coaches and trucks... But I can't show them off because I don't have access to them right now. But um, this is Fred, who I made in 2019. I wasn't going to make him at one point, but I was inspired to make him after I visited the Tally Clin Railway. He's made from a den. Where I removed the part with the cab, just kept his front on it and this back bit here. Stuck them together. This is just cardboard along the side, sloping down. These are Lego pieces. I used a Lego piece to represent his little bench for the driver to sit. So yeah. It's a, just a little cool driver dude. And uh... Also, because he didn't have much on him anyway, I painted some 
detail for his controls. That. And the face is from a capsule playwheel splatter. And I think it looks pretty good. I was originally going to use a Dennis face for it, but I decided not to. I also contemplated using the wood Spencer, but I, but I like what I ended up with. I like this. I like this smug little ass hat. Yeah. I'll just read the comments. Fred, yes, I love it. Fred, my lad, look at him go. This looks amazing. Thank you. Yeah, not really much else to say. That is Fred. He's pretty neat. Not sure what I'm going to do with him in videos, but I like him. He's, he's, he's a chill dude, I think. Uh, I... Personally, I would have thought Ivan's face would be better for Fred, but the splatter face is a great alternative. Well, you can use whatever face for Fred you want, because we don't know what he looks like in the books. So, he's up to your own interpretation, really. Right. Fred dies in the first five seconds he makes an appearance. <laughs> nah, Fred is actually going to be in the next episode of my series, so look forward to that, I guess. I any dub, any work in pro, any WIPs? Yeah, uh, actually, don't know if you don't know if you uh, saw earlier, but I'm currently working on a Black James because it is impossible for me to get the official one. All that needs to be done is the lining on the other side and the handrails. So, yeah, I guess I'll just show it off since I brought up but. I seem to have this thing of just, like, make getting a bunch of the James variants, because the show loves to put James in different color schemes. And I, I made pink James back in 2019, I want to say. But he doesn't have a face, because I took it off, but... I was, of course, Busy B James, who I don't really need to show off, because this isn't a custom. I just... Took the face off. Yeah. Right. I actually thought that was a legit thing. Thank you. Appreciate that. OML Pink James. Ah! Yeah. Actually, I've got black. I've got the black James face here, so I'll just put it on. Add to the effect. There we go. Look at this magnificent bastard. <laughs> James, the brains, get us out of here. Yeah. This is actually a learning curve, James, with a Mattel tender. I had to specifically get a Mattel tender for this, because, like, the 5 is, like, a different font than the learning curve one, and I wanted to keep consistent since I use Mattel James as my James in videos and whatever. But nothing too fancy about this, it's just... James, but he's pink. I really got no clue why they didn't take advantage of that episode to make a ton more merchandise, but whatever. Okay, side. Any more comments? Nope. Alright. So I move on to the next one. I'm gonna try and get back to work quickly on doing Black James's lining. Getting to the tricky part, the stuff on the actual engine. Just gonna try and fix some stuff on the edges here. Good. Oh, 12 viewers! We're finally in the double digits! That's great, I didn't even notice. And it's at 11 now. That's great. Oh, we're back at 12. Never mind. Oh, boy. 13. Lucky 13. Right. Oh, come on. 
Are you making Minnie's Proteus? Perhaps he could shrink like Ant-Man as a superpower. I made Minnie's Proteus. I showed him off earlier in the stream. And who knows? Maybe that'll be a thing I have him do in the series. But right now, I just did this for fun because I had the spare Scar Lowy. But what I'm actually making is a Black James. That's what I'm working on for now. And if I finish it in the stream and I've got time, I might start work on Purple Oliver. So, right, 14 viewers. Ooh, boy. 13 viewers. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Right. Oh god, that could have came out bad. Right. Are Origins James a bit too hard to find in the UK? Uh, not just in the UK in general, because they've been discontinued for a few years. And people on eBay are greedy. I am not about to pay like £30 for an Origins James. And £30 is like the cheapest you can find one for. Fuck that. So I'm just making a custom. Right. Oh boy. Up the chat. After I do this quick thing, I'll bring out another custom. I guess we'll set up a little pattern here, like alternating. I'll I'll paint like one line on the James, grab a custom to show off, and then come back to the James to paint another line. That works for me, I think. Okay. Nearly done here. 14 viewers. Okay, okay, that's good. I like this. Got 13. I guess we'll, even if the stream dropped back down to 4 viewers, I'd probably still be continuing it. Because, like, I do actually have fun with these. I like just getting to sit down and talk to you guys. Like, I like interacting with my fans a bit more, because I don't really do that a whole often. I don't like, fuck, how, what, what's the word I say this? Alright, what do you think of the idea to make a Stepney custom out of a Thomas? Uh, you could make it work, I think. If you're talking about a wooden railway one, that would be great, because the wooden railway Thomas actually has a model boiler, unlike Stepney. So, that could work. Wait, 17 viewers, oh boy! 16 viewers. Oh well, F 15. <laughs> okay. And we're dropping again. Guess it's time for me to bring out a customer's a last resort. Henlo underling, okay. Speaking of Stepney, your Stepney custom from a few years ago was lovely. Uh, thanks. I guess I'm I, looking back. I'm not too fond of it, but whatever. Because I'm working on one. Stop jinxing it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna stop. Look, I'm just gonna stop reading the numbers out loud because I keep losing viewers every time it happens. But um. I guess now since I'm. Done with the Scar Lowy customs, all two of them. I'll bring out my mid Sodor engines, which a lot of people seem to like. No numbers! No. Alright, anyway. I won't spend as much time on this because I've already made a video on it, but this is Albert. The He's the mid Sodor Railway's number five. And just as a brief explanation for whoever doesn't know. Are the Coldy Fell engines going to return? Probably. In my series, they're asking. 
Might do more stuff with the Coldy Fell. You'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, this is Albert. To give a brief summary, he was the number five on the mid Sodor. And he was one of the many engines who came and went from Duke's stories. So he was long gone by the time the railway shut down. What happened to him afterwards? Who knows? But uh, I made this using a Proteus with a take and play James face, and he's on Timothy's chassis because Albert has side plates, and there isn't really any engine I could use to accurately portray it, so I just kind of just went with what I got. Like, Albert has like weird side plates on him that kind of still expose his wheels and side rods. So I just thought this was my best option. Right, uh... Man, that custom looks beautiful. Thank you. Have you heard of either the engine? Also, how is Cora doing? But I used to watch Ivor the engine when I was a kid. So, yeah. Also, I'm not entirely sure what you mean by how is Cora doing. If you're asking, like, how's it going, I... I can't bring out Cora to show off because she's packed away and I can't reach her. But, um, the custom was alright last time I checked. But, um, this was a very simple one, albeit a stressful one. I had to cut off Proteus's coal bunker because Albert was one with the cap goes over the whole thing. And, yeah. The lights don't work, I glued the button in place, and all the wiring's been removed. But I'm pretty pleased with this. I'm looking forward to doing videos of it. I've got a big Midsoda idea planned out, so I look forward to that. Have you seen the new Turtle Zertles? Yes, I have. It was pretty good. Not much else I can say. I if she's packed away, that means she's safe from Capulet and King Lowercase. They would never target her anyway. Because she is narrow gauge and they are standard gauge and they don't care about her. Alright. What do I want to do next on here? I'll do the lining on the cab. That's always fun. Right, I'm gonna mess this up. Ew. Right. Have I missed any comments? Nope. Alright, let's do this. Oh boy, I'm worried. This I noticed a comment pop up. I'll look at it after I'm done with this. Uh, right. Okay. Just try not to mess up. Oh boy, I messed that up. That's not good. I'll have to fix that later. Made the line go a bit too high up. I'll have to go over that again later. That'll be fun. Uh... Okay. That one went well, at least. Oh boy. Oh boy. Not good. Not good. 
Right. Oh, oh dear. Nearly not, not the camera out of place. Right. Uh. Will there be narrow gauge villains in the series? Perhaps Smudge or Stanley has a grudge against Cora. No! Well, I'm not going to use Smudger as a villain in my series. Two, Stanley doesn't exist, because my series is TV series based, and... Three, what is the deal with Cora? What the fuck did Cora do? She's probably not even going to speak in my series. The hell would she have done to anger them? God. What is Gurg backwards? I don't know, I can't pronounce it. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that is what it is, Cloud the Loud. Thank you for providing the answer to everyone. Right. Well. I guess now I'll show off another custom. Another one I'll quickly get out of the way because of a video I made from. You're welcome. It would be a nice way to add some backstory, a series of parody and all. If I sound offensive, I apologize. No, it's fine. But I don't plan on doing anything with Korra in my series. Because I don't focus on the narrow gauge engines. It, my series focuses purely on Gordon and Ryan. So sorry about that. Zero eight nine is best boy. Okay, cool of to say that. I guess this isn't a quest eighty nine stream, but okay. Anyway, here is Tim, and he's a pretty basic bitch. <laughs> uh, I made him using a Freddy. Which I cut the side tanks off and then reattach the smoke box to later. The face is from an old style mic and I repainted it because it was kind of messed up. And the side plates are from Flora. I chose to use Flora because unlike Albert, Tim's side plates are supposed to completely cover up his wheels. Whereas like Albert's are still exposed. I, I've seen people make custom Tims using the Timothy chassis, and I'm like, yeah, do whatever you want. I personally don't like how that looks. Like, no offense, just not a thing. But yeah. Again, a pretty basic thing, just all black. And the gray, gray for the window, letting the number seven. Yeah, that's Tim. And he's, he's also a pretty cool dude, I think. Right. What? GNR simp. No. Flora, hey look, it's Timmy Turner. Meow. Right. Tim got that drip. The Quest 89 season 4 intro is really good. I agree, but why are you commenting that on my stream? This has nothing to do with Quest 89. <laughs> I'm a leave. Bye, everyone. Bye, Seaside Railroad Chronicles. It was nice having you. Why he gotta be black? Because Audrey's model was black. Has anyone found Diesel's Crack Shack? Everyone knows where it is. They just choose to avoid it. Hi. Hi, Molly the Shy Yellow Engine. Welcome. Alright. My phone is coming pretty close to dying, so I'm not going to spend more time with the custom, because that's just going to take up a lot of time. So I'm just going to continue showing off customs. How many mid Sodor models do you have? Well, um... I have all of my custom ones here with me. So, uh... 
don't know, I guess like... I, I, I don't know, I don't count. Uh, the last time someone visited the Crack Shack, they never returned. Yeah, because they didn't want to. But, um... Anyway. Yeah, Jim. This is Jim, who I haven't done a video on. He's basically the same as Tim, except I used a Timothy chassis for him. Because Jim doesn't have side plates like Tim. That makes sense. But, uh, again, just a Freddy. He has Timothy's face. His side rods are silver instead of red to differentiate him from Albert. Very much another basic bitch like Tim. Granted, all of the mid Soda engines are basic bitches. Right. Favorite episode from the TCC? I haven't watched it in a long time, so I wouldn't remember. Like, um. I don't know. Sorry. I like drinking paint. That, that doesn't sound good for you. Will you do Andrea's Atlas or Jerry? Uh, I've done Atlas and Jerry. I'm not doing Andreas because he's a fan character. I only make official characters. Sorry. Question, was the General Lee Horn in the Great Filler Race intentional? That means Rosie's patriotism is cranked to 11. God. Yeah, that was intentional. That was a reference. Sorry. I just realized how many Freddies you need to make a lot of the mid Soda engines. God. Or Stanley. That's okay. Well, yeah, I've made Stanley. I'll probably show him off in a bit. But, uh, I stuck the lead paint James in my mouth and I have 20 minutes to live. Well, I'd suggest choosing a more... I'd suggest choosing a better thing to do with your last 20 minutes than watching this stream. I guarantee that will not be a satisfying way to go out. But, uh... Should you choose to stick around, I'll, I'll try and make your last moments enjoyable. Uh, here is Jerry. And he, he was like the first really complex model to make. Yeah. I'm just going to not read all the comments about Quest 89 because I'm sick of talking about it. Anyway, Jerry was made with an old style lady. Lady body, a old style Duncan smoke box, and a Thomas Wood Rosie chassis. And the face is from Adventures Theo. And I am really pleased with how this came out. Mostly because he doesn't look identical to Tim and Jim, and I also didn't have to cut up another Freddy. I've had to cut up a lot of Freddy's. Cutting up Freddy's is not fun. But, uh, yeah. Jim? Not really. No, not Jim. This is Jerry. This is Jerry. I was to say, I didn't give him a name or a number. I, I did give him this little gold circle on the side. I guess that's a builder's plate, or maybe it has his number on it, and it's just too small to see. But, whatever. We don't know what Jerry's number is, so that's why I didn't give him one. But, yeah. That's that. Right. Uh, how many narrow gauge coaches have you done? Uh, I've done three red, two green, and that's about it. So, five. I'm working on making a few more, but I started working on some mid Sodor coaches, but I didn't get to finish them because I had to pack them away due to the move. But, uh, yeah. God. Poor Freddy! <laughs> yeah. Jim looks awesome. Like I said, you need a lot of Freddy's. Who's your favorite experimental engine from JBS? Um, Merlin, I guess. C 
Can we see the dead corpses of the multiple Freddies you have massacred? I mean, you kind of already have. This is what becomes of the corpses. I take the corpses and give them new life. Right. If your OC had to be a narrow gauge engine, who would it be? Not entirely sure what that means. Okay. Freddy's got PTSD. Real life shed 17. God damn it. Uh. This isn't a custom so far, but uh, I have an old style Reneus, which I'm probably just gonna like print out some nameplates for to put over the stuff and then turn this into another character. Because the Mid-Sodor Railway also had one engine like this. But yeah. Not even sure why I'm showing it off, but whatever. And um stop. Jennings. Uh, the name Jennings isn't official. Uh, I guess I'll just let that. I'm thinking of making this engine a girl. And I've decided to name her Abigail. And I'm going to be making the third engine that is the same design as Tim and Jim. And I'm naming her Kim. That name was suggested to me by my friend Dakota. Topaz Productions. So yeah. Nice. We should see your train graveyard at some point. It's not impressive, trust me. It's just a box full of engine parts that I think I'll use someday. But, uh, moving on. The next mid or custom. We have Alfred. One of the mine engines. He was made using the body of an old-style duck. The face of a new, of a new learning curve Percy. This chair is a Lego chair, so I can have crew sit on it. I'm, I'm not going to try and fiddle with it, but you get the idea. His nameplate is just paper, just red paper with gold and sharpie for the name, because I got tired of trying to paint it on. But I think the chassis is from a lady, but uh, not sure. Yeah, that's Alfred. And, um... Then there's this guy, who's Alfred's brother. I'm not sure what his name is. I, I've never really heard of this one. No one seems to do anything with him. But, uh... He's pretty much made the exact same way, only the chassis is from a Philip. And I gave him a way more beat-up Percy face, because I don't really care for this one. But, uh... Did you do Fred? Yeah, I showed him off earlier in the stream. Here he is. Whoops. Glamps. There we go. That's not like this. Put his driver back on. There we go. Alright, uh... Why did... Why did Mattel Hugo in the sad story of Hugo? Okay, did you know that Atlas and Alfred were built in France? Imagine if they met Millie. God. Are Freddy and Bertram going to be on the Midsoda or no? Uh, Freddy, no. Bertram, pop. Atlas, Atlas, Alfred. Guys, I know that he's named Atlas. Look, I even wrote his nameplate. I'm saying that I don't know this is Atlas because fuck Atlas. Everyone puts Atlas in their videos. I believe in Alfred's supremacy. Everyone always forgets Alfred. It's all about Atlas this, Atlas that. Fuck Atlas. Atlas sucks. Alfred is my child. Right. Why did Mattel scrap Hugo in the sad story of Hugo, I meant? Um, because Hugo wasn't bringing in the cha-chings. Anyway, uh, next up is my final mid Sodor custom that I can show off for now. This is Stanley, who for the longest time I swore I wouldn't make. But alas, here he is. 
And, uh, he, he's a complicated one. He was made of a Freddy, and I had to cut off the cab right down the middle. I added a wooden dowel here to represent the boiler, because this is what Stanley's base looks like. I got this second dome from a Molly, and this bit here, I think, came from a Lexi. Not 100% accurate, but whatever, I didn't have many options. The face is from a 90s Bill or Ben. I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know which one it was. I don't really care. The chassis is, of course, Freddy's, but I had to extend it a little bit because the engine was made a bit longer. Doesn't Stanley smoke cigarettes in the early series? Yes, he does. In fact, this model originally had a cigarette on it. I painted a little toothpick and then glued it to his face, but then it broke off. And I'm probably going to add it back at some point, but right now it's gone. But yeah, that's Stanley. Not really going to do anything with him in Sudric Legends, but I've got other plans for him. So, look forward to that. Uh, oh, shit. Trying to go back on some comments. It's a... Doesn't... Yep, I read that. Smudger or Stanley? I don't really care. I guess Smudger. Because I knew about him for longer. Engine smoke. OMG, this is the best custom ever. Uh, glad you think so. Yes. Engines are lucky. They can clean out their tubes regularly. You can't clean lungs. Hmm. Got any cool rolling stock customs to show off? Uh, yeah. This next piece of rolling stock is the Ministry of Defense engine. Because engines are rolling stock too. But uh, this was made with a Mattel Mavis, which I cut the cab off. And there's a little chair there for the driver to sit, and I painted the footplate grey just to make it stand out. Nothing too special. And the face is from Derek. We don't know what the Ministry of Defense engine looks like, so I just kind of made it up as I went along. Just like my own interpretation, basically. Don't even know what I'm going to do with this thing. I have no videos planned for this. It just exists. But yeah, I have it. I'm pleased with it. So yeah, that's that. Right. The beat. Name the other engine Greg as if he is Greg Rincard as a navigator. No. Ryan isn't here, man with cufflings in his stomach. God. Why do I keep falling for that? <laughs> yeah, sorry. But uh, to answer your question legitimately, I don't have any trucks or coaches. I'm sorry. Because uh, most of them are packed away. And I can't reach them. The second I'm able to get them out, I will do a stream where I show off my trucks and coaches. I promise. But, uh... Men are rolling stock. No, they are not. At least I don't think so. Not last time I checked. Okay, sorry about that. Some technical issues. Alright. I have to deal with some things for a minute, so the stream might stop suddenly, but it should hopefully come back on after a few seconds. Okay. I think it's back up. We've had a significant drop in viewers. Oh dear. Ryan hasn't posted a vid in a while. Is he alright? Yeah. He's doing his own thing. Okay. Um, give... Bear with me for a minute. I have to readjust my camera again. I had to get up and do some things. That wasn't fun. So I'm going to... I'm done with the customs, so I'm going to move the table. 
so I can also just readjust my chair so I can actually spin. Okay, let's look at the comments. George or Bulgy? Uh, Bulgy, I guess. I think about him more often. Nah. Next. C. Reginald Dalby or John T. Kenny? I, I don't know. I, I don't really rate Railway Series illustrations, and I don't know who illustrated which books. The only ones I can identify off by heart are Clive Spong because of how terrible they are. But, um... Anyway. So now that we're done showing off Scarlowy and mid Sodor customs, I guess we can go off into Arsdale. Because those are the only things I have left. Here is Rex... He's pretty basic. He's just a mic painted green with a take and play Rex face. And the Arsdale lettering isn't good, really, but I was really proud of myself at the time. And his nameplate is completely blank. Right. Rex, yes. Excellent. God damn it. Oh yeah. Before we move on, something I forgot to show Stanley is that uh, since I used a Freddy for this, this is Freddy chassis with an extra bit tacked on there. As usual with my customs, I paint over the names on the bottom. And this I did the same. And for those of you who were around for the last stream, remember the bit where I showed off Nosy, there's a little message at the bottom here. So uh, that's that. Anyway, moving on back to Arsdale. Uh, do you have a Cabless Scarlowy or Reneus? No, I do not. I had a Cabless Scarlowy, which I made in 2015, and it was awful. And I'm probably not going to be making new models of them anyway, because I have no use for them. But uh, next up is Jock. And this is basically meant to be my interpretation of what Jock could be like in the TV series, which... You can't really portray with Wooden Railway because it's a very simplified thing. But I gave him yellow wheels, just like he'd probably have in the show. There's a black cab, even though his cab was yellow in the Railway series. I originally made it yellow, but I didn't think it looked right. So, <laughs> I thought it was going to say fear on oh, God. <laughs> Will you do Sigrid in the blisters? Uh, just wait a minute, my friend. But uh, she's all, the face is also the same as the 2015 Mike. I just gave him different eyebrows and painted his mouth a little. So he has like a like, different face. The tender is Emily's. Again, pretty crappy lining on the side. I also made him a second tender. Yeah, I made two tenders for my jock. This one was made from a Gordon. Why did I give Jock two tenders? Because I can. And uh, in, the, in the book, his tender changes in like two illustrations. So I did this to reflect that. So if you, whenever Jock is on screen in my series, you better pay attention because his tenders will randomly change between shots. So now I've given you a little game to play when watching my videos. Uh, oh yes, Jock is beautiful. Thank you. Yay, I'm his friend. <laughs> it's a conspiracy. God. But anyway, the last Arlsdale custom I've got is Sigrid of Arlsdale. She was made with an old style daisy. Uh, actually, I think. 
Okay, no, it's dated 2003, so I'll never know what year it's from. But I got the daisy in a lot of broken trains, and the daisy was missing her entire face. I also had to replace her back wheels, because they had been chewed through by what I'm guessing was a dog. You can see some of the bite marks remaining on the side. But, uh, it's just an old-style daisy. The face is from Flora. And it's a pretty simple design, all things considered, but I'm really pleased with it. And, yeah, shame I'm probably not going to be using this in videos much. But, I'll find a way. She got a brief cameo in episode 1, so let's hope for more. What are your thoughts on Tatmar? Eh. I mean, I've like, I like it for nostalgia's sake, I guess. I enjoyed it as a kid, but like, looking back on it now, it's really not a great movie. Uh, Thomas and the Twins production is just sending out a bunch of clapping emojis, so I guess he likes Sigrid. That's good. Thoughts on the CGI series of Thomas? It's alright, I guess. Like, I mean, seasons 17 to 21 are definitely the best, are definitely the highlights. Season 13 to 16, I don't need to say anything about. Those are pretty terrible. Seasons 22 to 24 are slightly less terrible, but that doesn't make them good. So yeah, CGI series, pretty alright. Sad to see it go. But it had a it had an okay run. Give me a second. Right. Sorry about that. No other those. Does the Reverend himself exist in Thomas and does he write the books? I mean that's kinda of been established in both the books and the TV show that yes, he does. Favorite Thomas film? Uh, I haven't watched a lot of the Thomas movies in a long time. But I guess just off like memory, whatever, what I, what I can remember from some of them, I guess. I don't know, I feel kind of biased because I don't, I haven't watched a lot of the films in years. The last movie I watched was JBS. I want to say, like, a tie between Journey Beyond Sodor and Legend of the Lost Treasure. Or The Adventure Begins, that's a pretty good one, too. Like, uh... I don't know. Like... I want to say JBS, because I re... Because I actually really like the plot of it, and despite some problems I had of it, especially the ending. I think it was, like, a pretty solid special and could almost have been a very good way to end the series. Like, if season 21 was the final season and JBS came after it, and, like, the show just stopped at that point, I'd be fine with that. But, like, Lost Treasure is also pretty good, because, like, so many icon... Because, like, it has so many iconic things to remember it by, like, the fact that Donald and Douglas returned, even though they didn't really do much afterwards. The Arsdale engines were introduced. Uh, like, we got the cool chase scene, but also I think... I think JBS also did it a bit better with, like, introducing new characters. Because I liked Sailor John and Skiff, but Ryan isn't really anything special. Was of J was of JBS. I actually I liked pretty much all of the new characters introduced, even Beresford. I'm very much in the minority there, but Beresford was my favorite part of the film, <laughs> and I'm gonna lose subscribers for that. Oh well. I suppose the problem. Project G1 or Shed 17. I haven't watched either in a long time, so I don't know. 
But if the Reverend exists, then what inspired the books? Reality or events on Soto? Why did Ten Tons to Read Shape? I don't know why you're asking me all this. Like, the Reverend wanted Thomas to be a J-50 in real life. That doesn't mean it was like that in universe. Like, you'd have to go and ask him. Which, uh, unless you're a necromancer, I think that's going to be pretty difficult. I'm sorry. Because I'm going to do a video on it. I, well, I, I don't know what I can do for you about that. Uh, one day. I guess I'll just show this off briefly because we're on the subject of Arsdale. I was using this as the tripod for my phone during the whole stream earlier. But uh, this is supposed to be the ballast uh, hopper, which uh, looks nothing like the one in the actual show. But I kind of had to make this on a way. I didn't have a lot of time to get this done, but I needed it for episode one. So it's a very simplified, very inaccurate ballast hopper. Custom built from wood. So... Yeah, nothing too special there. But I have it. It's a thing. I just kind of had it with me because I was using it for filming some scenes. So that's the only reason it's in the room with me. Uh, trying to think what else I might have here that I can show off. Because I've pretty much gone through every engine. Like every small engine that I was going to do for the stream. A table. Favorite song of mine is Obstacles. Uh, I don't really have a favorite song. I like a lot of songs. I listen to a lot of music. I guess the closest thing I have to favorite songs usually changes every time. So I'm like, I listen to one certain song constantly a week and then wash, rinse, repeat. Uh, did you watch the Let's Build Thomas series? Don't know what that is. Sorry. Uh, God. Have to go now. Alright, well, thanks for sticking around, Schaffner27. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's good to have you. Goodbye. Oh. Goodbye. Oh. Are you leaving too, Ewan? Or are you just saying goodbye to him? No. Hey, I just got here! <laughs> uh, pretty poor timing, dude. The stream is practically over. I've already gone through everything I was going to show off, but uh, I guess we can do a short Q&A. By the way, in the end credits for episode one, what was that song that was playing? Because I dig that. All right. No, I was saying goodbye to him. Okay. Um, I'll... Can I comment in the chat? Uh, have you seen Modern Railroad by Big Engines 87? Not yet. I haven't watched a lot of content in the Thomas fandom because I, I, I just don't have the time. I just don't have a lot of free time. Sorry. But, um. Knock, knock. And by the way, Useful Engine 11, I'm putting the name of the song in the chat if you want to look it up. So, because if I said it out loud, you probably wouldn't know how to spell it. So, there you go. 
But, uh, it, it's a song from an anime that I watch, because I'm a filthy fucking weeb. And there's a lot of that shit in my series. Because, why use Thomas music when, when, yeah. Yeah. That's the gist of it. I've just got my iPad out here trying to type shit down while watching my own stream. Meta. Ah, no. What's Greg up to right now? He's with me! Hello! I've been here the whole time. Bear with me. Right. Favorite big four locomotive. I don't really got one. So uh, I, I don't really look too much into that stuff. What's Defect up to now? Uh, he's dead. Um, he's currently extra crispy. Uh, he's medium well. So yeah, that's what Defect is right now. He a fine snack. What's Duck up to now? I'm going to assume you mean Mini Duck, my series. Um, he's currently plotting his next schemes against Duck and Ryan. Well, I guess since the year is 2021, he'd be doing something else. But I, I can't really say what due to spoilers. But uh, you'll see what happens to him someday. Well, he better get resurrected for episode 4. Now, Defect can't get resurrected for episode 4. But, uh... He'll... Uh, he'll uh, episode 2, sorry. We're just going back... What up? Because... Well, the actor who played Defect is coming back for episode 2. And he's gonna die again. Just like how I... I was able to get the actors for Gordon and Ryan back to re-record episode 1. Isn't that so cool? I didn't even know that there was a reboot of the Sajic Legends. I thought that was going to be episode 9. No. Remastering every episode up to episode 6. What is Capulet doing? I already answered that. For those of you who aren't aware, Capulet is the real name of Mini Duck. Instead of Montague. Hey, yep. Hey, Dukey. If you're just joining, you kind of chose a bad time to come in. I've already done everything I set out to do in this stream, so right now we're just kind of doing a QA. and a I guess. Time to make a reaction of every episode there is and only get one view on each. You know, it's good. if people want to do a reaction video to my series, then sure, go ahead. I, I guess I'd be in... I, yeah, sure, I'd watch it. Because I'm, I'm curious to see what people think of my stuff. Like, Eck. <laughs> Eck. Ah, oh, Eck. What's Arthur up to? Uh, he's just casually working on his branch line, pulling fish. 
and he's trying to avoid the shenanigans Gordon and Ryan get up to. Heard of the Five Nights at Smudges games? Yeah, a friend told me about him years ago, and all it took was me hearing the names to realize that I don't want to get involved in that. What do you recommend for a good Thomas series? Oh, God. Uh, I don't know. Um... I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure I'm the right person to ask for this, because my series isn't really, like, my series is barely a Thomas series. It just has Thomas characters in it. Like, uh, I, wait, what war crimes has Arthur committed in his lifetime? I don't know. Maybe some things are just better left unknown. But, um... I guess my advice for, like, a Thomas series is don't be afraid to try new things. Like... Because I'll be honest, a lot of stuff seems to kind of just blend together. Whereas, like, Cedric Legends is something entirely different from what most fan series would be like. Like, I try to branch out from the norm, obviously with the fact that my series embraces the wackiness and unrealistic...ness that I can go with, with the stories, and I try to do new things with the characters. I, like, give different come up with scenarios that most people probably wouldn't think of for a series, like, I'm sure no one has planned out like series where Gordon and Ryan go to the Magic Railroad and then become holy anime warriors. <laughs> yeah. No one has planned a series where Ryan adopts a tiny little train that becomes his his like like his just little buddy. He's like travel companion, whatever. No one has made a an evil version of Duck wearing a top hat as a main villain. Which I granted, most of that stuff can only apply to my series, because again, the whole point of my series is that it makes no sense. But, basically... Uh... Also, like, well, I try to avoid obvious tropes that you could see in Thomas fan series, like... Don't know how many people know this, but I never have Diesels as the main villain. It's always a steam engine. The only time Diesels appear as bad guys is if they're, like, meant to represent generic goons. It's, like, unimportant characters. And... I want to avoid using, like, well-known characters as villains to, like... Diesel 10 is not going to be an antagonist in the series. He's going to be important later on, but I'm going to be doing something that, as far as I know, no one has done with him before. It's like... And I... Shit. It's like, I've been planning stuff out with Diesel 10 for about two... Uh, like, over two years at this point. And I'm really looking forward to getting to that. To, to that. But, um... I know where I'm going with this, but, like, just go for, ah, uh, no, no. Just try to think really hard about what exact, what kind of story you want to tell, how you want to go about it, and, like, if you want to try something that hasn't been done before, then go for it. Like, you don't have to have your series be a carbon copy of whatever is this. You don't need to be the next E93 or Turtles and Thomas. Because I sure as hell ain't trying to be. Like, try to do something that, you know, helps you forge your own identity. That way, like, people can look at your stuff and be like, Oh, hey, it's this guy. I'm going to be like, Oh, this reminds me of Enterprising Engines, or this reminds me of Turtles Turtles. Like, yeah. I kind of went on a bit of a tangent there. 
And I missed a lot of comments, so I'm gonna quickly breeze through those. Odd. Is the top truck going to have any significance in the series? I don't know what that means. Sorry. Swearing isn't a norm. Eh, kinda. Yes. Arthur has committed slaughter in World War One and Two. Oh no. Hello, hello, Casey Jr. Gordon, free loot. You sound like the UK James. Thanks, I guess. Uh, Gordon Ramsay called someone a vegan donut. Okay. Gordon is smart in old version of Legend. In the reboot, he's called he felt damn now when they see green stuff. Okay. Don't. Fuck. I called he felt damn now when they see green stuff. God. Yeah. The whole point of Gordon is that he's pretty inconsistent. He's a wild card. He, he can be the smart one, but he can also be stupid and insane. Donut. Oh. Which countries would your way the GNR lads and their adoptive son are banned from? What are they banned from? Um, all of them. All of them except China, because they still need to visit that. And Russia. God. I'd better be going. My name is pronounced Ewan. Okay. Uh, or Ewan, I'm guessing. Well, thank you for joining, Ewan. Michelangelo says James. Ha! Ha! Yeah. That's not funny. Can I make out-of-context videos of your series? Uh, fuck it, sure. May I only say that because I'm curious of seeing that, what that's like. Remember, that there was an out of context Sajic Legends Twitter account, but that hasn't been active in like a year. I'm really sad because there's going to be some great moments that I think would be good to just put on Twitter. Especially episode one, that has a lot of great moments that would just be amazing out of context, I think. Ryan, were you always this dumb or the mesh just sitting in? Okay, I'm going to be honest, for that one second, those were good impressions of Michelangelo as the engines. Right. Stuff and nonsense! Rest in peace, Angelus, yeah. God, in a few months, it's going to be a whole year since he passed. Damn. But... Still hard for me to process that. Like, Angelus was my favorite narrator, no doubt. Like... That's kind of why I try to impersonate his James when I do my series. Actually, no. That's probably what I'm going to do in the future. Like, I'm going to try and do an Angelus impression for James. Because cause right now, I'm kind of doing, like, a generic Cockney accent or something. That, that's probably not even right. Like, Henry, cheer for me. Try, I haven't got many chances to speak as James in the series. I've been kind of giving him some generic Cockney accent stereotype thing. But I might try to make him sound a bit more like Angelus in the future. So... Hi, Oliver. Hi, Deb T. Thanks to Angelus and George. Yeah. God. As an American, I never knew about him since 2018. That's sad. He, his ha, his ha, ha is gold. Yeah. Yeah. Some of the best part, some of Angelus' best moments are when he's not even speaking. Just the noises he can make. For a while I had his ha ha set as my fucking, like, alarm on my phone to wake me up because I thought it was funny. When I make those videos, I'll put the link to them in your comment section of random videos. Okay. You don't have to do that. You can just, like, leave me a comment on my community tab. Or discussion tab, whatever the hell it's called. So. 
So, yeah. Uh, wait. Who's your favourite character? I don't got one. Thoughts on whether or not Raoul is allegedly a wanted war criminal for breaking various Geneva conventions or not? Uh, no comment. Do stream dart. Okay. For some reason, out of all of Michelangelo's noises, Smudge's laugh is the most iconic. <laughs> Can you show Albert? Alright. I guess it's been long enough since I did. Here he is. He's a Proteus on a Timothy chassis with a take and play James face. God. Michelangelo's funny voice smudge a laughing. George Carlin was good too. It It's a wattle. Bill and Ben had people. I haven't watched a lot of the episodes with George Carlin as Bill and Ben, but, like, I, I remember, like, I said happy birthday to someone on Twitter and they replied with a Bill and Ben clip and she's like, thank you very much! How's the James custom looking? Uh... Here it is so far, on the side... The other side, I just need to do the wheel arches, the handrails, fix some mistakes on the lining, and add the lining around the number five, and then he's pretty much done. I'll probably do that after the stream ends. Wow. Yeah. I can't stop thinking about the HA HA now. Ha ha! Yeah. I pulled this out just for that. <laughs> no, that's not Smudge's laugh, God. I can't bring out a Smudger, he's packed away. Although, I have an Ertle Smudger in the room with me, like, just sitting my jaw, but I can't get him right now. Right. God. Percy. Oh, really? Oh, really? I thought you were afraid of the dark. I wonder... Toddles decided to say nothing and went to sleep instead. Okay. Can you show Reese? Uh, not right now, unfortunately. He's been packed away in another room. I might bring him out for another stream, though, because the last stream I did, I had to take it down because I accidentally showed off some things I wanted to keep secret. And... So I will probably do another stream where I show off the customs in that. Also, not as many, because that stream went on for far too long. <laughs> But, uh, I will show off Reese another time. And I'll probably do his video at some point, along with all of his friends. So, look forward to that, please. Okay. I watched the last stream and saw the secret purple custom. Yeah. Here it is. 
Still not going to show what it is. You're just going to have to wait until episode 9. Charles makes a bad joke. Ha! Ha! What's this? Educating Gordon Day? This educating God at oh no Oh de oh the humanity Though I couldn't make out who it is. Yeah, that's the point. I wave the purple custom in front of you, and you're not supposed to be able to tell who it is, because that is a secret. There are only a few certain people who know what it is. And it's going to stay that way. I would love to see the educating Gordon joke work in your series somehow. If I think of a way to put it in, then maybe. What is your favorite custom you've made? I don't know. I, I have way too many. Uh, Beresford, I guess. I'm really pleased with him. And I will get him out for a stream one day. Lol. Buzz off! Buzz off! Oh dear, what's he for? Wait, what? What's what for? The secret custom? Oh wait, are you asking about the secret custom or this messed up Gordon, Dookie? Like, I guess, until you answer, I'll just, I'll just assume you're talking about this because I imagine some people are curious. This is a Bandai Tex Gordon that just came in a lot with a bunch of other engines I got. And I wasn't expecting him to be this messed up, but he was. Like, uh, on this side, he's missing a good chunk of his final drive wheel. This side, he's missing two of his drive wheels and one of his leading wheels along with his side rods. The face was intact, but yellowed, so I unscrewed the model, took the face off, filed it down, and now I'm going to be using it on my wooden railway one. And I'll probably be converting this into scrap or something. But, so, who knows. Right now, it makes an excellent tripod. What face was used for Fred? Uh, Fred is a capsule playrail splatter face. Right. Gordon has a bad dream, and in the dream he is dead. Then he wakes up screaming, Ryan's wake. Cool. No. Would you ever consider making Minnie's Timothy out of a Thomas? No. Can you show Blair and her sick scar? I'm afraid not. I've already showed off all the engines I wanted to, which were all my narrow gauge engines. But I'll probably show her off in another stream. Daisy. Feeble, feeble, feeble. I can't do a good Ringo impression. Feeble. Bingus. Yeah, sure. Right. Wait. My legs hurt. Right. Is Blair a daredevil? I guess something like that. God, can we see Tim? I'm making one right now. Okay. Go. Oh God, I nearly dropped him. Yeah, here's Tim. He's made with a Freddy, which I cut down the side tanks, reattached the smoke box, Mike face that's repainted, and I used Flora's side plates for him. And I like him a lot. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Maybe miss my bingo game. Okay. 
Fifty Shades of Blake. No one wants that. I guess I'll keep the stream going for like five more minutes and then end it, end it at a hundred minutes. Yeah. Defect is freed. No, he isn't. By the way, I love your Gordon custom you made. I don't want to say too much to give it away. Thank you, Old Iron 2 Productions. Thank you for saying you like it and also thank you for being considerate and not giving it away. Yeah. Have you made a gym? Yes, I have. Here he is. Same as Tim, I made him with a Freddy, only I gave him Timothy chassis instead of Flora's, because Jim isn't supposed to have the side plates that Tim has. And the face is from Timothy. God. Uh, Blake or Emiko? Uh, Blake, I guess. Because he's fun to voice. But the Emiko has a bit more of a personality. And she has like a whole backstory planned out. Which I'm looking forward to getting to. So, you know what? Yeah, sure, I'll say I. You know what? Change, change that. I like, I like Emiko more. God. What about the Diesels? The Diesels! They were innocent too, and you killed them! I'm not gonna yell, because it's really late at night. So. Yeah, that's me voicing Timothy in Nick's series, and I'm gone now. God. Was that new? Thoughts on the road to Sodor? I guess we're back to asking me Quest 89 questions, even though Nick is nowhere to be seen in this stream. Right. Yeah, it was alright. That was my debut in the series, and it was pretty, it's pretty fun. I like, I like that I get to play an, an important villain in Nick's series. Being the voice of a villain is fun. Say, uh, if anyone wants to cast me in their series, just saying... You know, I want to go. Johnny Cuba voice. Oh, yeah, that was all right, too. Yeah. What about the steam engines in real life? Most of them are dead. Yeah, that, that kind of sucks. There's still a lot of them around today, though, so whatever. Yes. I don't know what you're saying. Yes to useful and useful, useful engine. Useful engine 11. I'm sorry. Thoughts on 089 God. Yeah, he's an alright character. I don't know much about him because I haven't watched seasons 1 and 2 of Nick's series. I need to do that. But I haven't. Uh, yeah. Message redacted. Okay. Yeah, you do a hell of groovy voices and can do a shocking lot and loud screaming. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm good at, being evil and screaming. That's why E93 always casts me as a guy who yells. But there's an imposter among us, I'm looking at Greg. What? No. Oh, it's sus. Do you plan on making a jock to go along with your ex? I mean, I was thinking about it, but I'm not really sure. I don't really see the need. Uh, uh, you threw off my groove. Sorry. Favorite Quest 89 episode. Again with the Quest 89 stuff. God. I don't know. I haven't watched all of his series, so I don't think I have the right to say. Uh, 
Oh, we just got a new view on the sh stream. Shame I'm about to end it. God. Since when Ryan own a Minis Hero Hero as a pet? Since episode 3 of my series. Uh, you've kind of got to watch the Sudric Legends in order, in order to understand everything, because it, it, it is an ongoing story. It's not like you can just start at one episode and be like, alright, whatever, you can't watch it in any order. It, it, it has a continuity and a timeline and stuff. Which, yeah. God. I'm livid. I'm, n I'm not angry. I'm livid! Yo, yo, Soto Express Studios, you came in at a bad time. We're about to end it. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm done. With... I don't have a favorite Quest 89 character. I, I haven't watched the whole thing. I don't know everything about the characters. I don't... Why are we talking about Quest 89? The only involvement I have of Quest 89 is voicing some characters, and that's it. You want to talk Quest 89? Go, go to Nick. He's not even here. God. Such a shame, dude. Yeah, it is a shame. He's full engine 11. <laughs> but, uh, if anyone has some last few questions or, like, topics that they want to bring up real quickly before I end it, now's your chance. Uh... Right. I'm not seeing any comments, so I guess uh, no one either, either no one has anything to say, or someone is typing a goddamn thesis. Right. Let's talk about the Sajic Legends. The guy who made that is a nerd, am I right? Yeah, what a loser. Have you seen the 089 custom Nick got in the mail? Yeah. I mean, I'm friends with the guy who made it. I watched him make it. Eric swings on a crane like it's a rope swing in Happy Wheels. Lol. Alright, I'm about to head out. Alright, bye. Will you continue your series? No, I'm thinking of ending it, actually. But uh, No. I've already written out the script for episode 9. I'm in the process of writing out the script for episode 10. Completed the script for episode 2 remastered. Gonna st start in episode 3 soon. Writing a script for a special. Got two more specials planned out in the works. Got at least... Got at least 40 or so episodes planned out right now. So yeah, the series is long dead. But, uh, no, it'll continue, trust me. Just, it's kind of on a hiatus right now. But, uh, yeah. Anyway... Doesn't... Do you know Thomas Wooden Railway? Not personally. No. Is Scarlet Fire Greg's right-hand engine? No. Scarlet Fire is not the right hand to anyone. He controls his own destiny. <laughs> I'm livid. Me too. Lol. I just joined. Where's Greg? You joined at a bad time, Henry Train Nathan. Here's Greg. But uh, the stream's about to end. Sorry about that. Mike is Scarlet Fire. Yes, he is. But, um... I Mike eat my scarf. Okay. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed, and stay tuned for another one of these in the future, where I'll be showing off some streams from the previous stream, 
which had, which had to be deleted. But uh, I'm gonna sh like uh, actually, I'm gonna ask. Uh, there's actually there's no point in asking. I'll I'll just make a poll about it. But the next stream, I'll either be showing off some of my fish, some of my OCs, or just characters from the show again. But anyway, hope you all enjoyed. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Because now, there is nothing. I'll save this for another video. Goodbye.